Hello. Welcome to Millstuff channel. Today we gonna talk about the McDonnell Douglas Boeing C-17 Globemaster III, a large military transport aircraft that was developed for the United States Air Force, USAF, from the 1980s to the early 1990s by McDonnell Douglas. The C-17 carries forward the name of two previous piston-engined military cargo aircraft, the Douglas C-74 Globemaster and the Douglas C-124 Globemaster II. The C-17 is based upon the YC-15, a smaller prototype airlifter designed during the 1970s. It was designed to replace the Lockheed C-141 Starlifter, and also fulfill some of the duties of the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy. Compared to the YC-15, the redesigned airlifter differed in having swept wings, increased size, and more powerful engines. Development was protracted by a series of design issues, causing the company to incur a loss of nearly US$1.5 billion United States dollars on the program's development phase. On 15 September 1991, roughly one year behind schedule, the first C-17 performed its maiden flight. The C-17 formally entered USAF service on 17 January 1995. Boeing, which merged with McDonnell Douglas in 1997, continue to manufacture the C-17 for almost two decades. The final C-17 was completed at the Long Beach, California plant and flown on 29 November 2015. The C-17 commonly performs tactical and strategic airlift missions, transporting troops and cargo throughout the world. Additional roles include medical evacuation and airdrop duties. The transport is in service with the USAF along with Air Arms of India, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, and the Europe-based multilateral organization Heavy Airlift Wing. The type played a key logistical role during both Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan and Operation Iraqi Freedom in Iraq, as well as in providing humanitarian aid in the aftermath of various natural disasters, right. including the 2010 Haiti earthquake and the 2011 Sind floods. In the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force began looking for a replacement for its Lockheed C-130 Hercules tactical cargo aircraft. The Advanced Medium Stole Transport AMST, competition was held, with Boeing proposing the YC-14, and McDonnell Douglas proposing the YC-15. Though both entrants exceeded specified requirements, the AMST competition was cancelled before a winner was selected. The USAF started the CX program in November 1979 to develop a larger AMST with longer range to augment its strategic airlift. By 1980, the USAF had a large fleet of aging C-141 Starlifter cargo aircraft. Compounding matters, increased strategic airlift capabilities was needed to fulfill its rapid deployment airlift requirements. The USAF set mission requirements and released a request for proposals RFP, for CX in October 1980. McDonnell Douglas chose to develop a new aircraft based on the YC-15. Boeing bid an enlarged three-engine version of its AMST YC-14. Lockheed submitted both a C-5-based design and an enlarged C-141 design. On 28 August 1981, McDonnell Douglas was chosen to build its proposal, then designated C-17. Compared to the YC-15, the new aircraft differed in having swept wings, increased size, and more powerful engines. This would allow it to perform the work done by the C-141, and to fulfill some of the duties of the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy, freeing the C-5 fleet for outsized cargo. Alternative proposals were pursued to fill airlift needs after the CX contest. These were lengthening of C-141s into C-141Bs, ordering more C-5s, continued purchases of KC-10s, and expansion of the Civil Reserve Air Fleet. Limited budgets reduced program funding, requiring a delay of four years. During this time contracts were awarded for preliminary design work and for the completion of engine certification. In December 1985, a full-scale development contract was awarded, under program manager Bob Klepper. At this time, first flight was planned for 1990. The USAF had formed a requirement for 210 aircraft. Development problems and limited funding caused delays in the late 1980s. Criticisms were made of the developing aircraft and questions were raised about more cost-effective alternatives during this time. In April 1990, Secretary of Defense Dick Cheney reduced the order from 210 to 120 aircraft. The maiden flight of the C-17 took place on 15 September 1991 from the McDonnell Douglas's plant in Long Beach, California, 
about a year behind schedule. The first aircraft, T-1, and five more production models, P-1, P-5, participated in extensive flight testing and evaluation at Edwards Air Force Base. Two complete airframes were built for static and repeated load testing. The C-17 Globemaster III is a strategic transport aircraft, able to airlift cargo close to a battle area. The size and weight of U.S. mechanized firepower and equipment have grown in recent decades from increased air mobility requirements, particularly for large or heavy non-palletized outsize cargo. It has a length of 174 feet, 53 meters, and a wingspan of 169 feet 10 inches, 51.77 meters, and uses about 8% composite materials, mostly in secondary structure and control surfaces. X. The C-17 is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW100 turbofan engines, which are based on the commercial Pratt & Whitney PW2040 used on the Boeing 757. Each engine is rated at 40,400 lbf, 180 kN, of thrust. The engine's thrust reversers direct engine exhaust air upwards and forward, reducing the chances of foreign object damage by ingestion of runway debris, and providing enough reverse thrust to back up the aircraft while taxiing. The thrust reversers can also be used in flight at idle reverse for added drag in maximum rate descents. In vortex surfing tests performed by two C-17s, up to 10%. At the 2006 Farnborough Airshow, a number of NATO member nations signed a letter of intent to jointly purchase and operate several C-17s within the strategic airlift capability, SAC. SAC members are Bulgaria, Estonia, Hungary, Lithuania, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Romania, Slovenia, the US, along with two partnership for peace countries Finland and Sweden as of 2010. The purchase was for two C-17s, and a third was contributed by the US on 14 July 2009. Boeing delivered the first C-17 under the SAC program. The second and third C-17s were delivered in September and October 2009. The SAC C-17s are based at Papa Air Base, Hungary. The heavy airlift wing is hosted by Hungary, which acts as the flag nation. The aircraft are manned in similar fashion as the NATO E-3AWACS aircraft. The C-17 flight crew are multinational but each mission is assigned to an individual member nation based on the SAC's annual flight hour share agreement. The NATO Airlift Management Program Office, NAMPO, provides management and support for the heavy airlift wing. NAMPO is a part of the NATO Support Agency, NSPA. In September 2014, Boeing stated that the three C-17s supporting SAC missions had achieved a readiness rate of nearly 94% over the last five years and supported over 1,000 missions.